Leadership can be a pretty controversial topic. People can take offense at the very thought because they point to Jesus wrapping a towel around him and getting down on the floor and washing his disciples' feet. And they say, so while wow, this talk about leadership, why don't you talk about servanthood? And my response to that would be to say, that's, that's a very good observation, but nobody at that moment doubted who the leader was in that room. And he was on the floor, and he was watching the disciples' feet. And the Bible has lots to say about the servant quality of a leader. This, this little book called The Marks of a Spiritual Leader is something I put together uh, as a, a message, a talk, years ago. And then we more recently put it in this little booklet form or made it available on the website. And the gist of it is real, real simple. A leader is somebody who has such a vision of reality and the future, even if it's the future of this afternoon, that somebody is willing to follow him. <laughs> Dads are leaders. Moms are often leaders. Small group leaders are leaders. Everybody who has something they want somebody else to see and enjoy and, and get in line with, that's a leader. And so when I, when I became a pastor, what, 30 four or five years ago now, I had to give a lot of thought, how do, how do I want to lead this people? I want to be a good shepherd, and shepherds lead sheep. And so that's what's distilled in this little 26-page booklet, and I, I hope it helps you at whatever level of leadership God may call you to.